What is your passion as an individual and as a business owner? And how is that passion reflected in your business? <clears throat> well, that's pretty simple. Our passion as individuals is our family. We are the parents of three children and our goal is to raise them to be strong, caring, kind individuals who uh, understand their place in the world as they're very lucky in, to live in America and um, working hard will determine your destiny. So we try to lead by example. And every day I go down and make candy and uh, try to uh, make the recipes exactly as my grandfather did. Uh, it's good recipes and I want, uh, I'd love to have my grandfather see what, where we are today and uh, the quality of candy that we have because he would be really proud. He thought it was going to end when he died. but. Here we are. Boy, was he wrong. We have, we have kept it going with a vengeance. We're the third generation, and that, that's a big responsibility. But as far as being passionate about our business, it's easy. We're, we're in a chocolate land. We're in a candy store, and um, candy makes people happy. So Who doesn't like candy? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody that comes here. So it's, it's like shooting fish in the barrel. People walk through the door, and they're already happy. They're primed to be happy and excited because there's candy everywhere. So we just have to keep that ball rolling. and. Um, it's great because we can listen to our customers and they can tell us what they want because we're right here um, at Ground Zero. They can tell us what they want and um, we can make it happen. Oh yeah, you guys post stuff on Facebook all the time saying like, do you want this or this? Do you like yeah. this one or that one? Give them and a then, choice. And then you do whatever they like best. Yeah, they tell us because sometimes <laughs> it's, it's not what I would think. Like personally, peanut butter. I always thought everybody wanted chunky peanut butter because I like chunky peanut butter. Well, Karen, who works for us, said she saw a poll on TV that says people like smooth peanut butter better. So we actually introduced smooth peanut butter cups, which we didn't have previously. And our customers didn't tell us. You'd think they would have told us. But anyway, that's like our top seller for peanut butter is, is smooth peanut butter. But that's just one way. Um, just give the people what they want. And giving back to our community, um, one way we do that is by donating to fundraisers for uh, folks who've been seriously injured in accidents or having a serious illness. Um, we, we donate to them because we're small, so we like the idea of helping one individual at a time. Um, although last fall we did have, uh, we took that like, one step further, a local ambulance corps, Eve's Ambulance, um, a young man came in by the name of Kevin Alexander asking for a donation. He wanted to uh, raise funds to build a building for the, uh, so they could be more efficient in delivering their services, their emergency services. And after talking to him, I realized that Kevin really had a lot on his plate between working full time, going to school and trying to raise funds for all this. So I said, Kevin, I'm going to help you. And he said, okay. And so, um, what we did was we designed posters for them to hang up and wrote uh, letters for him to take to area businesses when asking for donations. Um, we helped him organize the, the prizes that he was able to get and the day of the event we were there to help organize the prize table. You guys like, promoted on Facebook too, right? Oh yeah, Facebook and we tried to get him to do a YouTube video he wasn't <laughs> ready for that but I think this year he might because they're, you know, they're still raising funds, this is going to be an annual thing. So, But it was just really rewarding to be there because it wasn't at our peak time of the year yet so we could actually go there and, and help out so that was kind of fun to, to be there on the ground. and. Uh, they're very under underfunded. Yeah. And so, which is amazing because uh, these are people saving people's lives. Yeah. And we, we felt that this is really important. I yeah. want them to be there. If I need my life to be saved, I want them to be get there very quickly and efficiently. So maybe it was a little selfish of us to give back that way, but, but that's what we did. And another thing we do, which is a lot of fun, is we give free tours for um, local groups, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, classes, um, candy making tours. Yeah, you know, all, all the kids come here and the senior groups, uh, people come here from uh, all, geez, all surrounding schools. Did you come on a tour? I came here when I was in second grade. I came when I was when I was little. Even in ninth yeah. grade, I, I tricked my teacher into coming here yeah. for, a, for a tour. Yeah, you really had to do some serious trickery, yeah. right? <laughs> every, everybody thinks you have candy every day. And candy for breakfast. Candy and for every meal and you can get candy all you want and then they, then of course they all say can you bring us some candy <laughs> yeah they figure we just we just saw uh, leave the house with candy in our pockets every day but uh steve was the big shot that day the king of second grade moving forward in the fourth generation we just want to be known as yes making awesome candy but we also want to be known as being good people that care about our community because we do